Hello dear subscribers and watchers, what's up? From Slide Nerd, this is me, Waves over here. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to get the particular details of a particular person, like the password of the username. So this is a select query with a where condition, which we are gonna discuss here. In the previous video, we talked about how to retrieve all the rows inside your database, right? Here, we're gonna move one step further. If you guys haven't seen that video, please check the links in the description text below. So here in my Eclipse, I have the same code which has not been modified in any other way so far. It's just the on create upgrade my helper class over here, which is an inner class, which is again something I discussed why. And then there's the insert data method and the get all data that we have. So inside this, I'm gonna go and make another method void get data. So this is gonna ask the person a username and it's gonna return the password for that username or it's gonna display that in every other way. So everything here is the same except the fact that we will have a statement which looks something like this. So just to show you guys what is happening, I have returned the select statement which looks something like this. Select name, password, the two columns from Wivs table where name equals to Anki. So this is the condition that we have. So I'm gonna go ahead copy paste everything as it is and we just need to make some minor changes. So let's paste this over here. SQLite database, get a writable database first. Select our list of columns that we want we don't want the UID so remove that from there there's just the name and the password and then we say cursors db dot query table name columns now the third parameter is the selection statement that we want to perform so inside this we're going to write the condition saying a uh, double quote over here and then I'm going to say waves helper dot name plus equals and now I need to put stuff inside the single quote like this and within the single quotes I need to put my name which is Anki so again I'm gonna have a double quote here put plus sign on both sides and put the name over here so in effect I'm just putting that condition without having that where word written over here this last line which says name equals to Anki is the same thing that I've written over here which is nothing but waves helper dot name which is nothing but name right and then I've said plus equals to end the single quotes and now this is one of the ways of writing the query now let me run this and show you exactly what happens but before that take a look there is no need for UID over here right and then we don't uh, need the name variable because it's already given over here so we will make another variable over here saying person name or something like that again for the column indexes instead of putting one or two we'll have to change this hence it's a better approach that we simply go ahead and we simply say cursor dot get column index for that column name that is waves helper dot name right and now I'm gonna say index one over here the same way I'll get the column index for the password column and I'm gonna make that as index 2 and say index 2 over here so at this point my buffer is getting appended and everything all I need to do is return that the same way I did earlier so I'm gonna put string over here at the top and return our buffer by saying return buffer dot to string so nothing great inside the while loop I just take the result set which is a list of rows and columns browse through the rows by saying cursor dot move to next and for every row get the column index of the first column which is name column index for the column password use that index to get the data out of that column by saying cursor dot get string store that inside person name store that inside password append that name and password to our string buffer and eventually return the string buffer that we have and that's all we need to do so going back to our main activity here I'm gonna add another button inside our activity underscore main dot xml so at this point I have made some minor changes to the layout below the view all details I have an edit text where I'm gonna enter the name of the person whose password I'm gonna find and then click get details to go to the code here the get details is gonna have an on click attribute that's gonna call get details here going to our main activity I need to add the other edit text and process it so let me do that again so at this point I have my third edit text which I just created added here as name and initialized right here inside this get details method which will be called when the button is clicked what I need to do is get the data from that edit text I'm gonna simply say name dot get text dot to string which is gonna give me the string inside that edit text which I just entered simply say string s1 equals to this over here and now all I need to do is say wivs helper get data for s1 which is the name that we entered so this is gonna call our method get data with the name from the edit text over here and that's gonna perform this select star from table name where kind of query with that name give us the results and return the string buffer from here 
So going back to our main activity, what we need to do is put that inside string s2 over here and simply display that using the message class by saying message dot message this comma s2. So at this point, let's run this and try to find out if it works. So at this point, our app is up and running. I'm gonna simply enter the name as Anki over here and click get details. And as you guys notice, Anki has ABC and Anki has one, two, three, the two different passwords, which is of course not correct because two usernames and different passwords doesn't look good, right? Again, if I put Vivs over here, it's probably gonna give me something. You say Vivs one, two, three, four, five, six, and Vivs ABC, which means our query is working perfectly. Now let me put something else and if I say get details and there's nothing inside the toast. So we need to handle the empty string condition because nothing is returned. There is no name inside our database which has the value thanks over here. So at this point, let's take a look at the second way of doing things using our second query method. If you click view all details, it says three space web space ABC where three is the ID, right? So we'll write a query that given the name, username as webs and the password as ABC, it will return the ID. In other words, the query looks like this. Select underscore ID from webs table where name equals to question mark and password equals to question mark and we are gonna put those values so everything here looks the same right now in the string columns where we wanna select stuff I'm gonna just have the ID over here by saying webs helper dot UID and here where I've said cursor DB dot query I wanna query the table which is webs helper dot table name the columns over here which is this UID column and I want to have the condition which says Vivs helper dot name equals to question mark over here. So I'm going to remove the single quotes and all these statements written over here. Just put a question mark here and write an and condition. And then I'm going to say Vivs helper dot password again say equals to question mark. So this is the condition that I plan to have. Now, of course, we'll have to change the method for this. Now, right now, it takes get data only name. We'll have to provide a password as well so I'm gonna say string password here at the top and it's gonna return the ID right so if we go to our main activity right now we just have a single edit text that takes everything so let's do one thing let's actually make the edit text such that you will enter the username put a space and then enter the password that means using the same edit text you'll have both the data items right so I'm gonna have to separate them I'm gonna say string substring one equals to s1 dot substring from 0 to the index where space is found right so I'm gonna say s1 dot index of so what I'm trying to do is my edit text s1 string s1 contains webs space ABC I am making the string sub 1 which will only contain the word webs in other words it starts at 0 and ends at the point where the space is first encountered which I can find by saying s1 dot index of space right same way I'll have string sub2 which will contain the password it will start from the point where the space has ended and the first character has started so for that I'll say s1 dot substring again the starting position will be s1 dot index of space and there will be a plus one over here because when you say s1 dot index of space you're talking about this position over here where my cursor is currently pointed when you say index plus one you're talking about this position where a b c starts and this is what we want and hence i put a plus one now i'll call s3 by saying vivs helper dot get data s1 comma s2 which is sub one and sub two that we have right it's not a good way to name stuff so let me again show you what happened there's the edit text whose string was taken inside the string s1 i found the username or i should say extracted the username from the entire string that is vivs space abc by using the substring method that starts from zero and goes up to the first space that we have and then ABC starts from space plus one over here and goes up to the end of course for which I, have, I don't need to mention the end over there and then there's the string s3 which is the final result by saying webs helper dot get data and sub one and sub two are passed over here so if you go back to our webs database adapter there's the name there's the password right now here is where the fourth argument comes into the picture so let me first format this by saying control shift f and as you guys notice right now it's like cursor is db dot query helper table name the number of the columns that you want to select the condition that you have and of course we need to provide the selection arguments now let me show you exactly what this selection args is all about I'm gonna say selection args over here and this is gonna contain the values for against which we want to compare so I'm gonna say name come up password in other words the query is like select from the table name the columns 
the condition and then the selection arguments over here so in other words when the statement runs the query is like okay webs helper dot name plus equals to question mark and who's the question mark it is the first guy inside our selection argument and then again it says webs helper dot password equals to question mark and who's the second guy it's this guy password inside our selection argument in other words the data is picked from this array and this is the recommended way of writing select star from table name where query equals to something kind of queries in Android so at this point everything looks good we have the UID over here we need to make some changes here because there are no username and password being extracted if you guys remember we have said only vivs helper dot UID should be the only column present in our result and hence I'm gonna say index 0 is cursor dot get column before UID and then get the person's ID from that particular row and remove the two statements next just add the person ID over here and that's all that needs to be done so at this point if I again select this click run over here constructor gets called and here if I say vivs space ABC so remember the first part is s1 the second part is s2 if I click get details right now as you guys notice it returns the ID 3 so let me again show you if you click view all details there is two Anki ABC right and now I'm gonna say select star from table where name is Anki and the password is ABC and it's gonna actually return the column that I want which is number two over here so things are working perfectly so the selection arguments that you see over here is nothing great it's just an array that contains the values that are substituted inside this question mark at runtime when you are executing the query so hopefully you guys have understood something about how the two different methods of query work if you do like what you saw Please like this video, share this video, subscribe to our channel and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a nice day.